Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, I'm gonna show you the easiest indicator to starting your way to becoming a day trader. So let's get into it. All right, YouTube, we're back. Today, I'm gonna show you how did I get into day trading about two years ago. And I had a quite bit of success with it by using just this one indicator alone. Um, a lot of people think that day trading is super difficult and that you have to wake up at 4 a.m. every single day just to become a day trader. And in some way it is difficult, but once you get the system of everything and you have, and you have all of your indicators um, set up, all you have to do is just stick to your basic rules and make sure that you win more than you lose. But um, if you're not interested in today trading, what you can do is swing trade. And I will show you guys what indicator I use to, to set up my swing trades. And if you don't know what swing trades are, um, swing trading is pretty much buying low and selling high. Um, day trading is buying the same day and selling the same day and you become a pattern day trader but swing trading you could uh, hold a stock for anywhere from i think short term would be a week or a month and long term would be six to uh six months to a year as a swing trader so let me show you the indicator that i use that i find for my day trades and for my swing trades all right it is called the rsi the relative strength indicator or the relative strength index Here's the definition of what it is. The relative strength index is a momentum indicator that measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions in the price of a stock or other assets. The RSI is displayed as an oscillator, a line graph that moves between two extremes and can have a reading from zero to 100. It is intended to chart the current and historical strengths or weakness of a stock or market based on the closing price of a recent trading period. All right, so it sounds like a lot of words that I just read out, but I'm gonna actually pull up uh, Thick or Swim. It's the platform that I use to actually read all of the stock markets that I set up my indicators on. And once I show you exactly what it is, you guys will find it very simple yourself. This is probably the very simplest indicator that you guys can use if you want to start day trading or swing trading. So let's pull up Think or Swim right quick. All right, guys, here we are on Think or Swim. Um, I'm going to pull up my favorite stock. If you've been um, following me on my channel, you will already know that my favorite stock is AMD. If you don't follow me, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button. And, and, and what I just found out is that if you hit the subscribe button, that it really doesn't mean anything at all. So you also have to click the notification button next to the subscribe button so you could, guys could get update to my current videos. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway very soon, so you don't want to miss out on that opportunity. But anyways, back into AMD. Okay, down here I have what I have set up. It's the RSI indicator. All right. So let me explain it to you right quick exactly what it is. This is the price movement of AMD. This is the four hour, 180 day chart. So this is the actual price movement. This charts the price. Now here's RSI. Uh, if it's overbought, it will show that it's red at the very top. That means it's overvalued. People are buying AMD based off speculation and that is on the momentum wave of going up and people are buying it at a super high price and i have it set up that it would turn red if it's above the 70. it goes all the way from zero to 100. i have mine set up to where if it's over 70 it's going to show red but you could change it to where if it's over 80 or all the way up to 100. so when it's very high and it's red that means it's overbought and the price is probably going to pull back a bit if we look right here where it's blue that means it's actually oversold it's undervalued people are selling off their shares afraid that the price will go down anymore and that the company is actually undervalued right now so right down here where it's blue where it's underneath the 30 that means is undervalue for the company and you might be getting in i said you might be getting in for a good price if you could get it 
why it's undervalued or oversold. So this is overbought when it's red and it's oversold when it's blue, okay? So we take a quick look into, let's zoom in right quick to right here. So last time that it was overbought was, um, it was over the 70 right here and it had a little pullback right there, all right? So last time it was overbought, you could have sold off your shares and then bought back in when it bounced off the 180 day simple moving average. Once again, when it was overbought right here, it went all the way up to the 84, the 83.7. So it was super overbought, it was overvalued, and over the next couple of days, it tanked and went down um, 12%. So you could have sold while it was at the very top and waited for the company to come back down and bought back in once it reached back down to a fair value around the 30. Now we zoom out, let's go to one that was oversold. Let's zoom in right here. So the company down here was super duper oversold and it, was, it went all the way down to the 1817. So remember that the chart goes from zero to 100 and this one was all the way down to 17. If you could have got in at this fair um, undervalued at $26.77 and you could have rolled the wave all the way back up to the next time it was over, over bought right here and sold it at for a percent gain of 27 point three three percent so in a couple of days you could have made a profit of 27 percent in just a couple of days but you always you also always have to keep an eye on the market when you're swing trading and day trading so let's zoom out just a little bit more so there you go it was overbought again right there on the rsi indicator and it ended up coming right back down so let's look for one more chance to where it was oversold and it hasn't been oversold since right there. Um, it is super overbought. It, it is all the way up to the 84 and it, it's showing a little pullback right here going down. Let's see. Going down six point. Uh, no, going down five points right there. No, four point eight percent. All right. All right, guys. So that's how I use my RSI indicator on my swing trade, setting it up just like that. When it's overbought, I'll sell some of the shares off, wait for the price to come back down and buy some more. And when it's oversold, I'll buy some when it's oversold, wait for the price to go up and sell it at the top. That is the very basic way of day trading, very basic way of swing trading. As you can see, I also have other indicators set up on my chart that I'm going to discuss in future videos. So you guys subscribe to the channel so that you can see uh, exactly how I set up my chart. But um, if you guys want to use the R RSI indicator, that is the most basic and simple way to value a company. Now, if you want to be a day trader, what I used to trade when I was day trading was oil and gas. So I would pull up DGAS right quick. And when I pull up DCAS, DGAS, let's go to the one day, one minute chart. That means you are trading intraday, you are trading, uh, you're buying and selling the same exact day. And if we're using the RSI indicator way down here where it was super oversold, it got all the way down to the 13th. Um, you would have bought it right there and sold somewhere near the top and you would have had a profit of 3% in a single day. And the last time it was oversold, was right here and went all the way down to the 18 we would have bought um, and sold for a one percent profit if you guys don't want to be greedy you can just uh if you make one percent a day you are the best trader on earth if you make one percent a day that means you will grow your uh, portfolio 365 percent in a single year that is awesome if you want to just gain a half percent a day that's awesome or just even 0.25 percent a day that is still great uh, being a day trader because you will grow your account very fast over time if you have more wins than you do have losses. But me personally, I am a swing trader. Um, 
because I'm a busy, a very busy person. And that's how I do my swing trades with AMD. Uh, actually, that's how I did my swing trade with Google. I bought Google at a very cheap price when it was oversold and it was undervalued. And now on Google, I've made over a hundred dollars from Google stock already. And I had it for less than two months. So yeah, guys. So yeah, that's how I do my swing trades. But um, other than that, if you guys want to find out how I use all of my other indicators, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and actually click that bell icon that's next to the subscribe button because trust and believe that I'm going to be doing a giveaway very, very soon. And you guys don't want to miss out on that giveaway. But other than that, this is Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.